Right, morning guys. Um, as you can see, I've got the 700 here all fired up, ready to go. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. So we're going to try for uh, a nice long flight time, somewhere around the 11, maybe 12 minutes. Um, low head speed, somewhere around about uh, 1100 RPM. Um, so I did have a go the other day, but uh, all you got was that tree in the background and basically none of the heli. So we'll um, we'll see how we go here. A nice slow spool up. And away we go. So just a light hover, like I say there's no um, no idle up, just flat 90% across the top of my throttle. Um, I have knocked the um, the gyro up to 90% for the tail. Um, but as you can see there's still a lot of bounce in that. Um, Uh, but nice, um, quite enjoyable to fly, um, can't wait to get out to a bigger field, just to have some, uh, basically some scale type flying. Uh, um, running the K bar in it, Mini Koala, um, as far as I'm concerned a lovely fly by Alice unit, a um, lot of good features on it, I was a little bit, um, a little bit iffy about um, uh, setting it up on the computer, but got through that okay. The one thing I must admire I like about these is the trim flight. Um, I don't know whether you can notice this, but I do have a little bit of drop in the tail every now and again. Um, sitting there level there's slight drift to the right there's the drop in the tail there that was that was hands off so hopefully trim flight might fix that for us but um, nice and steady just floats so nice such a big bird So uh, tail holds well, I'm not going to give it a real hard pump out, but that was probably uh, probably about 80% throttle. So there's no real, real twist on the tail or anything. Um, running nice. Uh, we're about two minutes into the flight so far. Um, I am um, I am running a uh, I'm not sure whether it's a Turnergy or Zippy battery. I think this one's a Turnergy, uh, but this is 5,800 milliamps. So flight time should be a little bit more than what I got from the other. The other ones were just um, were just 5,000 milliamp. But uh, nothing special here today, boys. Just just hovering around the backyard. As you see, it does like to keep drifting back, so hopefully trim might trim flight might fix that. Pity I didn't get this video yesterday. It was an absolutely gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky. 
Um, as you can see today, it's uh, a little overcast, probably a little bit easier to see the heli because there's no shadows. Um, but we're expecting a bit of rain later on today. Uh, about six degrees uh, Celsius. Um, so the hands are getting a little bit on the nippy side. But I suppose the boys over there in the colder countries are calling me a bit of a wuss. Um, but yeah, with the breeze off the 700 and six degrees, it's, uh, it's a bit fresh on the thumbs. Uh, about four minutes into the flight, maybe a bit over. I, um, I haven't really had this out at a, a nice big strip yet. Um, I've had a little bit of a fly, but I had a few issues, so I never really got a good flight in. So now that I've got all the bugs sorted out, um, looking forward to getting it out to the field and having some nice scale flight and uh, knocking it into idle up, which will give me another 5% throttle, probably somewhere around about 150 um, more in the RPM side of things. Um, like I say, at the moment, I think I'm running, I'd have to double check, but somewhere around about the 1100 RPM. And it's, um, uh, obviously it bogs down a bit, but if you just fly on scale, it's, um, it's a very nice, gentle flight. Sounds awesome. Uh, the other times I've been flying this, I've been flying it on 12 cell, uh, about 80% throttle in idle up. So I think there I was getting up around the 2000 RPM mark. A um, little bit of a handful coming from the 550. It's a, you know, 550 is a nice size bird, but um, having this thing run at about 2000, 2100 RPM. Um, yeah, it, it sure um, it sure makes you think twice and want to respect them. Bloody wind off the 700s, bloody cold. Alright, so we're down six minutes into the flight now. Um, still just sounding good. No, uh, no great dilemmas with um, any head speed slowing down or anything like that. I did have a voltage alarm on it earlier on for the first flight this morning, um, but in the, uh, I think it was about three or four minutes into the flight, if that, the alarm was going off. Supposedly it was set at 3.7. Um, when I put it down and checked all the cells, we were still sitting sort of 
4.1 to 4.5 so I don't know what happened with that so no voltage alarm on it this time I'll just run by the timer Uh, it looks like we're out to about eight minutes, I think. Uh, still, um, still running fine. Uh, like I say, nothing spectacular here this morning. But just to show you guys, you can get this sort of time out of six cell. Um, as you can see there, if you have a look, only one battery. Sorry, the thumbs are getting a little bit on the cold side. There you go, one battery in it. You can pick that up. Uh, about nine minutes. Um, and yeah, I think with the tail, there's there's uh, two ways I can go with the tail. I can try uh, bigger blades on the tail. Or I can up the gearing. I've just got the standard gearing here at the moment, so I think from memory that's about 21 tooth. Um, and I do believe you can get, I think it's 23 or 24 tooth for the uh, umbrella gears in the tail. So that would actually help help a fair bit, I think. Um, I must admit, you start to get to 10 minutes of fly and it's a little, little on the draining side. Uh, especially hovering in an area like this and cold hands. Four minutes, okay, so we're out to about 10 minutes now. Um, still looking pretty good. Obviously, when I finish the flight, I'll... Um, Check the batteries, and I'll I'll post what they uh, what they are resting at. Uh, got the pelican in the background there. Come to see what's going on. Uh, he's seen enough, and he's off again. Uh, nice sound and heli, I must admit. Neighbours probably think there's a real one of them around. Probably getting a bit boring to watch. Um, oh, uh, let's have a quick glance here. 
six minutes, so we're around about the 12 minute mark at the moment. Like I say, I do have a 5800 milliamp hour battery in there, so I should be able to get the uh, more time than what I did out of the 5000, obviously. Uh, 30C battery. Uh, so like I say, not a great deal of power, but that's not, we're look what, not what we're looking for here at the moment. The tail, the tail holds quite well actually. Uh, but like I say, just got that bounce there. I got the gyro at 100%, so um, might have a bit of work to do on that. I think we're getting close to nearly 14 minutes, I think. A um, little bit hard to tell, but I'll, uh, I'll have a look at the video. As you can see, it's still, still sounding about the same as what it was before, so there's plenty of flight time to be had in this, even if you, uh, even if you raise your, uh, your throttle up a little bit higher. Uh, or maybe change the gearing, just give yourself a little bit more RPM It'll give you a little bit more uh, power and pleasure in what whatever you want to do but uh, I might uh, I'll call that quits and we'll go and check on these batteries and make sure I don't uh, don't kill them all together guys all right I hope you enjoyed that uh, nice relaxing flight it'd be nice to get it out at the field I must admit all right. Thanks, guys.